All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, another video here. My uh, Hasisa slash Laodi TI-30. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to um, fix brake uh, scraping. So if your brakes are rubbing against your caliper like that, if you guys can hear it a little bit. Not too much, but you definitely don't want uh, that uh, touching. Especially when you're turning and you hear ting, 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 ting. It's annoying as hell. It's not bad, but it's just, it's annoying. I don't think anybody wants to hear that stuff. So I'll show you guys a little quick fix on how to do it. And uh, just fix that tinging and scraping noises. Um, it's nothing major, but, you know, nobody likes to hear that stuff. So I have my... Um, Hasisa, just on two logs here, just so I have some elevation to work with my uh, back tire here. And here's the caliper. It's uh, Diceland calipers. I think that's how you say it. DY, uh, DY Island uh, calipers. Some people might have Zoom calipers or these ones. These ones are pretty nice. They have carbon fiber on it. So, whatever. These all work for uh, the same calipers. So you're just going to want your uh, Allen key here. And you're going to want to adjust. There's two bolts up here, all right? You see those two Allen key bolts up here? One, and there should be another one over here, just by the uh, brake fluid line here. I want to go ahead and loosen it up. So mine's pretty tight right now. So I'll just go ahead and loosen it. There we go. Couple turns. Start with the one closest to the board. Go. And we'll loosen this one up here. There we go. So, tinging noise, like I was saying, it sounds something like this. Well, something like that when you're turning uh, can be really annoying. I don't think anybody wants to hear that. So, we're going to go ahead and just loosen these up. Not too much, just enough so we can have some play here with the caliper. So, it can kind of wobble. So... Loosen up the front one, that's good. And we'll loosen up this one. So I'll just make sure, I don't know if you guys can see, uh, the caliper can wobble a bit here. And if you can look just in between, I don't know, sorry about the focus guys. There we go, so. Um, if I can zoom in, that'd be really helpful. Yeah, see how the uh, left is kind of closer than the right so I'm just gonna space it out a bit you know I'll zoom you guys out a bit there we go and we're back to normal so there we go we have some rubbing so I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust that so what you're gonna want to do very simple it's not too much to be honest actually go ahead and just Let's make sure these are good and they can move around. Pretty good, actually, to be honest. So, go ahead and just have that on standby, your Allen key. And we're going to want to go ahead and just squeeze our brakes. So, squeeze them nice and tight. Not too tight, but just enough so your caliper can be uh, tightened onto the rotor. And I'm going to have to go ahead and put you guys down just for a sec so I can actually tighten it with my... Uh, Allen key. So keep holding the brake, your uh, back brake. Keep holding it while you screw those two screws in and just tight enough where it can stay and then you can uh, test it after. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down for a second here. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, it's going to be a crappy angle, but so I'm still holding on to the back brake while I tighten the caliper. So what this is doing is, is allowing it to line up with the rotor. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten the bolt closest to the board and then the one furthest to the board. And if you guys want, if you have an extra person to hold the brake while you go ahead and just tighten the caliper, then you can do that. But I'm doing this on my own because it's not too hard. So go ahead and just tighten it. There we go. There's quite a bit of tightness. And you can go ahead and release the brake. And I'll bring you guys back over here. And now, 
It might take a couple tries. It's not going to be perfect on the first try. And if it is, well, good for you. That's good. There we go. So it's still a bit of scraping. But have we lined it up? It's pretty... It's lined up pretty good. Sorry about the angle, guys. Not great. But you want to go ahead and just keep doing that and fiddling around with it until it doesn't rub. And also another tip, if it just keeps rubbing after adjusting it quite a couple of times, uh, go to your brake and find a screw here. Now this is for the DY Island uh, brakes. Uh, mine are just screws that you can twist in and out to tighten and loosen. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it a bit. I don't know if this is loosened, no, it's tightened. Okay, so lefty is to loosen it. And not too much, you just want enough where you can still break pretty good. So, I loosened it quite a bit, and now if I... There we go, there's no, there's no rubbing, because what that does, that screw is... It spreads out the uh, brake pads just a bit more. And there we go, there's no scraping. That's pretty much how to fix it, guys. It's very, very easy. If it's giving you problems still, comment down below and I'll try to give you guys a hand on little other tips there. But this should work for you 90% of the time, guys. So hope this did help you out. Any questions, comment down below. Hope you did enjoy the videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this. Any mods uh, on the scooter. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Like up the video, subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.